Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of me climbing the KC Cup ladder with Buster Blader. So we're D-level 18 now, so we have two D-level up games before us, before we actually are able to get to D-level max and to stage 2. Okay, so we're playing against Paradox Brothers, so that's probably going to be Subterra's. I'm 90% sure it's going to be Subterra. So I'll just set DNA surgery and pass. Since I have defense in Kytroid, so that is fine. Okay, so you're sending a card, it's probably the Subterror thingy. Yep, there's the Flip Flop Frog, which is going to be set by its own effect, summoning a Subterror from hand. I'm a Strix, okay, so I'm not setting DNA Surgery then. Oh, and another I'm a Strix. Okay, that's fine. I will draw. And that will conclude my turn. It's a very bad situation here. Since both Amastrix can just banish cards I control. Please go ahead. And Flip Flop Frog can bounce cards when it's flipped face up. So it doesn't matter if it's attacked face down or is it flip summoned, it'll always do the thing. Okay. That's Amastrix. Oh, Amastrix can only banish monsters. Okay. Anything in damage step? Because I'll activate a Kytroid. I, already up I also upgraded my Kytroid, so now I have two Prismatic Kytroids. Okay, so this... So now I know that this cannot banish my face down, so I'll place two of them. And that will conclude my turn. I'm awaiting the... Cosmic Cyclone or other shit like that. Okay, everything is fine. Amastrix will set itself face down. Okay. So we're going to attack with Frog? That is fine. That is actually fine. I will take the flo the frog. The flog. It's a flog now. Flog. Okay, it's my move. I draw. And I'll end my turn. I need, I think, one more hit from the Flip Flop Frog. From the Froggy Boy. I'm patient. Perfect. This should do it. This is fine. I can protect myself against free attacks, so I'm golden. I'm cool. Oh. Oh, I still got... I still hard Drew Sage, so... It's 
it's good. It's good. It's good to have a sage. So first things first, I activate Mausoleum of the White. Anything or for that? Not too many people play Mausoleum of the White in Duel Link, so I assume he doesn't know what I'm up to. Which is good. So now I'll summon Sage with Eyes of Blue. And use its effect. Anything for that. Okay, there's the World Legacy Pawn. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care about Sage. I care about the monster I search out of Sage. Which is going to be my whelp. Now Amastrux will activate. Banishing my monster. And I will activate DNA Surgery calling Dragon. At this point it doesn't matter if he a Cyclone's Mausoleum. Because I already used the normal summon provided by Mausoleum. So I will normal summon Whelp. What you gonna do about that? My dear sir. Probably going to flip another card that would... Oh, are you going to wait for me to... Okay. That's understandable. So now I'll activate Buster Whelp's effect. And I'm okay with not chaining fusion. So now my Buster Blader is summoned. I'm waiting for the Karma Cut or Scepter Final Battle. There it is. Perfect. What are you going to do? They're probably going to change that scepter. That is fine. I activate my Destruction Swordsman Fusion. And I will use your Amastrix and the Buster Blader in my hand to Fusion Summon. Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Now you have to change it to face, to face up attack position. Thank you. And that concludes our duel. Go Buster Blader attack! It was fine. To be perfectly honest, if he didn't play so passively, he could have won. Since he was playing so passively, I played passively as well, but my... My endgame is much stronger than his. Buster Blader, Buster Blader has one of the most strongest game plans in the game entirely. The issue with Buster Blader is the fact that it's not stable enough. And also it's susceptible to any form of removal that's not monster based. Oh, the level up. Okay, so what we've got here is really good. Okay, Lumina the Light Sworn Summoner. Lumina is summoned. Ditch Raiden, Summon Raiden, Raiden Mill. Synchro into something that's probably going to be, fortunately, the Every. Yep, there she is. So I'll just draw, summon Whelp, activate Whelp, get Fusion. Set two cards and pass turn. 
on your draw face. I activate fusion. I chain surgery. I'm calling dragon. It would have been a shame if something happened to your fortune lady Everina, would it? What a shame. And he specifically always summoned Buster Blade on defense, so that no shenanigans with Econ can be used. Since Buster Blader can be used as a target for emergency or enemy controller, not emergency, I was thinking about emergency teleport, for enemy controller. So I'll just summon Whelp again. Get this out. This stays over here. I don't need to summon Buster Whelp again. So I'll just attack. Get this destiny draw, my boy. Not that I care, actually. Since your fortune lady every won't help you. Oh! What skill are you playing? I don't remember you activating skill. Oh, you're playing spell specialist. Okay, that's, that's fine. So, what you've got for me? I assume it's a big pile of nothing. <laughs> oh, that that was a good call. That was a good call on his on his part. However, there is one little slight issue with this. He has to get rid of DNA surgery now. Because now that I know that he has Galaxy Cyclone in the grave, I'm just going to Synchro Summon Stardust Dragon. Oh. Chaos Betrayer. Okay, that is fine. I summon Whelp. Activate Whelp's effect. Get my hands on Fusion. And now I'm going to Synchro Summon Stardust Dragon. Just to be safe. I'm going to switch Buster Blader to attack position. And attack your Chaos Betrayer. And win the duel. Let's face it, I summoned Stardust Dragon only on the off chance that he had something like a Sphere Karibo, or anything that would prevent me from dealing the final blow. Since he, if he had survived this turn, he had a Galaxy Cycle in his grave, which would destroy my DNA surgery. And Stardust was here as that insurance policy, yes, that was the term I was thinking of as that little insurance that I would survive to win the duel. So, D level 19. If, if she's going to go like it, like it does, it's, it's going to be a very very short series. Not that I'm complaining. It's been multi fine. But I just need to win three more duels before I get the D level max. Okay, and this is a very good hand, all things considered. Okay, so he banished a Diadelus and Neftus. Okay, got double DNA surgery, which is good. And Diodelus will banish another Neftus. Neftus will shuffle itself back and get him the... Oh, he banished a Tyrant Dragon. Interesting. He'll get the trap card. Diodelus. Oh, I know what you're... I know what you're up to, you sneaky bastard. 
But I'll just set a card and pass. And Tyrant Dragon will now... I'll just activate the NH Surgery and call Dragon. Okay, that's a Metaphus Tyrant Dragon. And that's an Asymetaphus. Banishing Diadelus. That is fine. Another Aloof Lupin. And that's my cue. Veil? Thank you. <laughs> yes, I win. I had everything. Perfection. So what, two more wins and I'm the level max? This is... This is... Very interesting. I haven't been dueling off screen at all since like third episode. So I just I'm just strolling a lot around and as the speed and the speed of sound. Well not really. I can't make references. Okay, this is bad. This is very very bad. Since my opponent is starting, I don't see any he didn't activate any skills, so he's probably on Destiny Draw. Yamiyuki is most likely to be on Destiny Draw or Spell Specialist. Okay, so he's on Destiny Draw. Oh god, yes! Emblem. Oh god, that that Welp was something we needed desperately. So I'll summon Welp, activate its effect, get my hands on Fusion. Set a few cards face down and attack with Whelp. I'm not going to try and trigger your uh, your skill. That's not something I want to do. So what you've got for me? Okay, Luna Lights. That is fine. Do your worst. I don't particularly mind. Yeah, so he's most likely on uh, on the Destiny Draw skill. Yellow Martin will now activate. I don't care about that. Now he's going to use the Luna Light Fusion. But since... There is no monster special summon from the extra deck. He can only use the monsters in his hand and on his side of the field. So what will most likely happen is him using Crimson Fox and Emerald Bird to summon a Cat Dancer. Crimson Fox will activate, making the attack of my monster zero. But for this, I'll activate Destruction Swordsman Fusion and chain DNA Surgery, calling Dragon. I will get rid of his Cat Dancer, giving me a big boy on the field with 3800 attack points. And he most likely doesn't have a follow up play, so that's my win. Since I'll just summon a Buster Blader from the graveyard. Swap a Buster Blader in my hand <clears throat> for a Destruction Swordsman Fusion. I will set a card since there's no main phase 2 in this game. And swing for game. Oh, he probably has something. Like a Sphere Karibo. Not that I care. Uh, that's probably a Sphere Karibo. Or, or a regular Karibo. That also works. So you lived the fight another day. Yep, called it. I called that Destiny Draw. Yeah, 
what he desperately needs here is a cosmic cyclone or, or any form of spell or monster removal. Not this. He needs removal in a non-monster form. Spell or trap. Everything else loses him the duel. Yep. I fucking called it. I fucking called it. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was that was rather quick. So what? Next duel will be the, the level up? Next or the one after that? So if things go well, I f assume we should get to the level max in this episode. If not, it's going to be the next one. Oh, Kite. Kite is an interesting fellow to duel since he does have the photon skill. Holy fuck. Um, shit, this is bad. I'm getting OTK'd here. I'm getting OTK'd here. Since Kite has Stalage Lord Galaxion, he can special summon Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from his hand or deck, giving him 5,000 on the field. Okay. I'm okay with you summoning Photon Lizard. Oh, that's the Phot Photon Vanisher. He's adding Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. He'll use Photon Lizard to add the Photon Stream of Destruction. Oh no, it adds a monster. So I have no idea why he summoned Photon Lizard. He's going to exceed Summon Star Leech Lord Galaxion. Use one overlay unit to special summon the Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from his hand. Getting five. Thousand damage on board, and I have no defense. You win. Hot damn! That was harsh. Okay. And we had such a good, very, very good draw. Uh, I mean, win streak. Okay. Doesn't matter. We're on a roll. Okay, that's probably another kite. No, you mind Astral. So it's Astral and his worst self. Okay, what we've got here. Okay. You've got everything we need. Wait, what does that do? Return to Zubaba. Different names, not two monsters with different names. Oh, so you can Utopiac on a and Zubaba Bancho Gagaga Code. What does the Utopic do? You can special summon up to. Okay. So you're doing stuff and things and stuff and things. Wait, I thought it returned to the graveyard. Uh, hand to the deck. So I did... No, okay, I don't understand. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that's a Photon Strike Bouncer and probably a Utopia. So, what rank 4 are you going to summon here? Oh, a Steel Swarm Roach. Okay. Okay, I get ya, I get ya. However, my dear sir... I would like to inform you 
that this only works on inherent special summons. Not on fusion. So now, dear sir, you are my bitch. I may have jumped the gun here. Oh, no I didn't. Perfect. This is pure perfection. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so that's a win. And let's go further. Even further beyond! I think this or next game will be the D level max game. Oh jeez, is that the same guy again? Please don't tell me it's the same guy. I'm gonna be very sad if that's... No, it's a different guy. And I have shit. But you're still playing on a matter play. Okay, you're turning Gaga's sister and to get Pancho and sister? That was weird. Okay, you're adding a Gaga Bolt. You're probably going to go for a Photon Strike Bouncer because that's the best rank 6 currently in Duel Links. Yep, there it is, the Photon Strike Bouncer. Okie dokie, so I'm taking damage. And I will Veil. I draw. Your move. I need to draw into DNA surgery because before I do any other plays. But that's like 20% chance of me drawing into those. Okay, let's try it again. Another a mausoleum. Okay, that is fine. I still have a few chances. I can protect myself from four attacks so that is fine boom the the worst part about photon strike bouncer is that it protects only that it can negate only monster effects on the field it cannot attack effect uh, affect any monster effects in any other place Be it hand, graveyard, banish zone, etc. Come on! I still have two more attacks I can muster. Go, Kytroid! Come on! Come on, now I have a 25% chance. I draw! Hmm. This well won't help me. It's a fact it's still going to be get negated by Strike Bounds or so. And he's also getting more cards, giving him an additional push. There's the Gagaga Bolt. Okay. I will protect myself with Kytroid from this one. Come on. I need it now. I need it right now. Holy fuck yes. 
Um... If he actually paid attention and he has Cosmic Cyclone, he knows what the Cosmic Cyclone. If he had paid attention. Because that is rather obvious since there's no way to shuffle my hand. Okay, I'm waiting. Gekura Bolt targets any card? Yeah, target one card on the field. Okay. There's the battle phase. He's attacking. Activate Destruction Swordman Fusion. Response? I activate DNA Surgery. And I'm calling Dragon. Response? No response. With our powers combined, this is Buster Blader! He probably has something like a Karma Cut. Or bullshit like that. Come on. Come on. Okay, nothing. So now I will activate my skill of Draw Sense Light. I will activate Mausoleum. I will summon Sage. And I will go into a Stardust Dragon because I know he has Gagaga Bolt. And I don't want the bolt to affect me. And there goes the Buster Whelp. And here comes the Buster Blader. Okay. There goes the treacherous trap hole. What are your targets? My fusion and the buster blader. Well, that is fine. I'll activate destruction swordsman fusion. Fusing my buster whelp, my buster blader and this guy and summoning buster blader in attack position. And now I'll attack your Gagaga sister. There's probably a Karma Cut or any other bullshit like that in here. Oh yeah, called it! I fucking called it! Okay, there's the Gaga Emergency Network. Oh, and both of my Buster Blade of Fusions are gone. Oh jeez, this is bad. I don't have a follow-up play. So I guess I'll see you in the next episode, since I lost this duel. There's the Gagaga Bolt, it'll probably target the surgery. Yes. And you are going to exceed some of the Probably another Ford and Strike Bouncer. Or M7. Interesting. It returns to the hand or shuffles into the deck. Oh. It returns to the hand. Okay, fine. A zoop of a bancho, gaga coat. There's nothing I can do but just take the damage. I'll activate my draw sense light skill again. And that's my loss. Ah, we were able to defeat one Yuma, but not two. Okay, let's face it, the first duel was against Yuma, the second was against Astral. Yes, that's that's a thing that happened.
So, and with that, we're going to finish for today, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Duel Links action. Jacolo signing out. Peace!